Hey guys, what's up? It's your Cincy Star Director here, Angie Tallarico Dalton, and today's video is going to be all about my bricks. But before we dive in, I do want to mention that the lighting is very weird today because it is very dark and gloomy outside. Uh, I am missing two nails. I am in my floor and life is just a mess. No, but really, today's video is all about our 2021 holiday bricks that will be available on October 25th. Consultants this year got early access to them, and I freaking love them. So I do have a Wickless Weekly email newsletter that I create that goes out every Thursday, and then some exciting days with the in between with a special perk for new subscribers. Wow, I am tongue-tied. I have not had a coffee today. Also, if you never want to miss a beat in the Cincy world, please just text Wickless to this number right here, and it will subscribe you to my text alerts for product launches, sneak peeks, trauma crate deadlines, you name it. Oh, also go support my friend's new t-shirt business. Um, they have started Oakwood Apparel and I will link the Instagram handle down below. I love this shirt. This was the first one that I ordered and it's just giving me all the October Halloween vibes. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So every year we come out with bricks for the holidays and this year Cincy did not disappoint. So if you don't know what a Cincy brick is, it's a pound of wax. I grabbed a bar so that we could compare, but bricks used to be available like in the catalog as like a catalog item. They were available all the time before I ever joined Cincy. So whenever I joined Cincy, these were technically just a limited time offer. And I remember the first time I saw a Cincy brick, I was freaking floored by how big these are. So a brick is about five and a half regular size Cincy bars. A lot of wax is in this brick. Quick tip, all Cincy bricks are hand poured, which is a, that's just the thing that I love. I don't know, like I just think it's so awesome that people literally still hand pour all of these bricks, all of the bricks. So this year, Cincy actually let consultants have early access to these, which was the first time I think that has ever happen happened, but we have been loving that perk. I think we also get early access to the Since the Season collection later this month, and I think that collection will drop in November. But let's talk about the bricks. We have five brand new bricks for this year's collection, and they smell so good. So first, let's talk about the scent descriptions and let's have a sniff test. I wish that you could actually smell this to the camera so bad. I am already warming this one. This one is Fluffy Fleece. Fluffy Fleece is exactly what I was hoping it would be. I have just been into these type of scents so much lately. I don't know what it is, but I was so excited whenever I smelled it and it was like exactly what I was hoping it would be. So I have been warming this for the last couple of days. These arrived two days ago um, and I was gonna do a video two days ago, but they didn't arrive in time for me to actually sit down and film. But Fluffy Fleece is black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I think I'm saying that correctly, but this one is definitely the fresh scent in the bundle collection it is like those top of sensu sensual fragrances that you can never describe like cozy cardigan this honestly if you put this scent with like no name or anything if you put this scent in a bundle with the catching z's collection i i wouldn't even know the difference because it's just those type of scents catching z's those were some of my favorite waxes ever, like Snuggle Up and Shut Up. Yeah, those are the two that are in my club that I absolutely adore. This one is just, it is lighter, it is a fresh scent, and of course, it's going to be a little bit lighter. So the performance may not be as long as maybe a very, very strong scent, which we do have a very, very strong scent in this collection. But this has been warming for two days, and I'm still loving it. If you love scents like Arctic Kiss, uh, Silver Bells, what else would it remind me of? Kind of like Vanilla Mint, but it's definitely not minty at all. But like, I'm just trying to think about like those wintry, fresh, let's snuggle up and watch a Christmas movie type of scents. Ah, I love this one. So this is Fluffy Fleece. 
Up next we have Pink Poinsettia and this is the one that completely surprised both Brandon and myself. I'm gonna try to let it focus so you can see. So of course I was gonna you know label this as the floral. I mean am I missing something like the poinsettia? That's like the floor that's the flower that's the holiday flower that always comes around for Christmas. Like it, it comes in like red and pink and I think that's the only colors I've ever seen. But you know, it's that, I mean, it has it on here, like on the actual bar, you know? So I wasn't really thinking that this was gonna be a fruity scent. I wasn't thinking this would be my favorite scent. I don't know if it is my favorite, but let's just talk about it. So Pink Poinsettia is crisp plum and blackberry. Celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. Let me tell you. Whenever they announced these and that they were going to let consultants have these early, I didn't even read the scent description for this one because I was like, you know, it's pink poinsettia. It's going to be one that I'm not going to be a huge fan of. And then the other day I was sitting down making these images um, for consultants. If you see these going around, I made these. But I was on this one, you know, to make the photo of the pink poinsettia and I was like, what the heck? Oh my goodness. And so I, at this point in time, like I still hadn't got my bars in yet or my bricks in yet. Um, but it reminds me of scents like Tinselberry and Dazzling Pomegranate. It reminds me of Dazzling Pomegranate. Do you remember that one? It's so fruity. I cannot wait to warm this. It is so bright citrusy fruity a lot of pomegranate in there it's just it reminds me of the same feel of tinselberry so tinselberry is a new release in this catalog so if you have smelled that one or if you've already been warming and you know that you love tinselberry definitely try this definitely try pink poinsettia this is also brandon's favorite from the brick collection so he picked his favorite and he picked the red one and i was like I'm so surprised. So I don't know. Like, am I just missing something? I just, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, next, let's talk about what's the next spiced eggnog. I'm going in alphabetical order here. Um, spiced eggnog is absolutely delicious. I have never tried eggnog, eggnog. Oh my God. I've never tried eggnog or spiked eggnog like the real eggnog i've never tried either one of them because i'm not a huge fan of eggs and i'm pretty sure it doesn't have like an eggy taste in it so this is spiced eggnog and every time i read it i want to say spiked eggnog but that's just me but this one is ground clove simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog i don't think i've ever had an eggnog scent in my Scentsy, my Scentsy career. I don't think I have. I don't think I've smelled one. I know that there have been some, like for us to vote in during like the Bring Back My Bar, whenever we get to vote for which Bring Back My Bar since come back. But I don't think I've ever had a home fragrance like this. It's delicious. Oh, it's delicious. It's bakery. Oh, it's so good. And it smells like it's going to be strong. I haven't warmed it yet. Um, but then the next one, the next one is actually the really, the powerhouse. So everybody been, has been telling me that Sweet Orange Pomander is a powerhouse. I'm just making sure it's going to focus so you can see it. So this is Sweet Orange Pomander. And this is sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorned sweet orange in a dazzling display. This one is very cinnamony so that's the only thing that threw it off for me because i like cinnamon but i prefer like a sweet cinnamon sugar like i want a bakery type of cinnamon this is more of a cinnamon that you get like in cinnamon bear and, Co uh, and christmas cottage christmas cottage is a good christmas fragrance but i never reach for it because it's very cinnamony to me i that's just normally what I gravitate towards, but I think I'm gonna like this one honestly because I think it was last year. Last year I finally fell in love with apple and cinnamon sticks. I never liked that one. 
until last year I finally gave it a chance and my, my, my taste has just changed my preferences have just changed so people have told me that this one is a powerhouse I'm really excited to warm it to see how that sweet orange comes to play but I think it's good I think it's good it's definitely a spice fragrance and it's good I like it last but not least we have vanilla cinnamon maple I was so excited for this because it sounds obviously it sounds delicious but vanilla cinnamon maple is cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a top a mountain of whipped sweet cream let me try that again cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream it is just it's delicious it's another bakery scent it is amazing. I cannot wait to warm this. But this is vanilla cinnamon maple. So yeah, guys, these are the holiday bricks for this year. I'm so excited for them. They all smell so good. So good. I promise you. There is the only one I was a little iffy about is the sweet orange pomander just because of how stout the cinnamon is and that's just my per my personal preference but i think it smells like a great scent i cannot wait to warm all of these um if you purchased a charm crate in so no if you purchased a an october charm crate i'm putting samples of all of these scents in the charm crates whenever they come in and um so if you got an october charm crate be expecting that these bricks will be available starting October 25th. I am doing a pre-order list for them. I still do have a personal special going on regarding shipping. So if you want more information about that, if you're not local to me, please just ask for the details for that. Um, each brick is $24. You can purchase these individually or you can bundle to save. You can get any two for only $40. So that makes each one 20 bucks a piece it's huge savings versus like like how much wax you get in bricks compared to like the little bitty baby bars like these it's it's a, such a great deal so all i do i have a video on my youtube channel of how i actually cut my cincy bricks and i will link that down in the description box below but it's so easy so it's so easy i have a specific butter knife that is specifically for bricks so if you would like to pre-order any of these bricks with me, please just fill out the Google form link down below and I will reach out to you. Yes, it's only October 7th whenever I'm making this video. So we have a while to decide which bricks you want. And like I said, if you did order a an October Charm Crate or if you had a club subscription process with me in the month of September, you will be getting samples of these so that you can smell them and you can get ready, get your order ready for the 25th. And now that we're done talking about bricks, kind of just want to sit down and talk to you guys because I've just I just want to explain I feel like I've well I know I've been really out of it lately but I feel like it may have you know translated into like my videos too see I don't even know if that word made sense I feel like if you watch my videos often like I am always an anxious mess but I feel like definitely on camera some people might be able to see that I'm just not I'm not myself lately and I think that I'm just I'm getting really homesick we're still living at my mother's I'm still in my high school bedroom with no space mattress is still on the floor my office is not an office I'm literally filming next to a clothes hamper right now <laughs> um I think I'm just getting really homesick we are in that long stretch we've been here for six months I'm so very thankful that we were able to stay here instead of having to, having to rent somewhere because finding somewhere to rent was a disaster and everything around here is way too expensive to rent not worth the money for the actual place we had a house lined up and it turned out to be covered in mold so we were like mm -mm, no so I just feel homesick but we have about a month and a half less than two months until we can move in as long as everything continues to go well and if i am messier or if my videos are messier like just know it's because 
It's not because I'm not putting less effort into my videos. I'm just really fighting anxiety and fighting that feeling of not being home and just being really out of whack. And my workout mat is literally right in front of me from where I did an exercise earlier. Like I just, I'm just ready to be home in our new home. And um, I'm so very thankful for the fact that I do get to work from home and this is what I get to do and talking about these bricks because Cincy is what makes me happy and that's what warms my heart. Like this, you know, like Cincy is my thing, my family and my job. Like I just, I love my life. I love my life. I'm very, I'm just so very happy. Today's our four year wedding anniversary. Um, Brayden had to work sadly, but he'll be home soon. He's taken off a little early. Um, but I am thankful for all of you guys who continue to support my YouTube channel and uh, leave comments and, you know, uh, hit the like, the like button on my videos. Um, I just, I really appreciate your support, whether you're a consultant or you're a customer. You, and even if you've never even shopped with me or if you're not like in our Sensational Southern team, like if you watch my videos and you know, you comment and you chat with me and you like them, like the videos, like I just, I, so, I really appreciate your support in my YouTube channel because I put a lot of work into it. So that's it. Um, things will be back to normal soon. I don't even want to say a bit back to normal because things will be better. Things will be better soon and I cannot wait cannot wait to, to do an empty home tour for you guys. Um, Brandon said that he would actually do that video with me, so we'll see. He's really camera shy, so he might chicken out. But that's it. If you would like to pre-order some of these bricks, I highly recommend all of them, and I cannot wait for these. I forgot to mention, these will be eligible for Scentsy Club, so if you don't want to buy a full brick size of these, maybe you just want a normal size Scentsy bar in one of these scents, you will be able to add these five scents to Scentsy Club as normal Scentsy bars starting on the 25th, and um, if you keep them in your club and you never remove them, that will qualify them for always get my bar. So if you fall in love with these, uh, you can still get them next year for the holidays too, as long as you keep them in your club. I still have marshmallow mint cocoa from the holiday bricks last year in my club. What were the other holiday bricks? Marshmallow mint cocoa was something that I fell freaking head over heels for and it's in my club because I was like if it doesn't come back in the catalog like I have to have marshmallow mint cocoa. I have a lot of it in storage. It's in the storage units but thankfully over like the past year I've been able to um, gather up a few of the bars for myself for the holidays so I will definitely be in the Christmas scent mood once Halloween is over. Um, but definitely add these to club so that you can forever enjoy them and get that 10% off and that half price item credit while you're at it. So, and also I do VIP mail for club members. So if you're, um, like I said earlier, if you're since the club processed in September, you're on my VIP mail list for October. So you will be getting samples or not full samples because I still don't know how the weather is everywhere, but I am doing the little, the felt sample so you can smell, like you can smell them and know which ones that you like. So that's what is gonna be in my VIP mail for this month. But that's it guys, I love you all. Thank you for watching. As always, don't watch me, join me and have a great day.